All right, so in this video, I decided to take a pair of New Balance 550s that I got in white and gray, and I wanted to give them the coffee treatment again. So I did a coffee dye to a pair of 992s that I really liked. Actually, I liked the, the end results, but the 550 is definitely a popular model right now. So I wanted to try it on the 550s and see how they turned out. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so as you guys can see, I have the final results here to show you guys and came out uh, pretty good in my opinion. I did a lighter dye this time than the previous. So the 992s that I did definitely came out a little bit darker than the 550s, but the 550s came out a lot more even than the uh, the 992s. I kind of like both of them. They were done both differently and, and fun. For the 992s, I try to have it more of a vintage look. So I actually used some acetone to remove some of the coffee stain again, just to give it sort of like a, a different feel. The 550s definitely came out a lot more even, especially in the toe box section of the shoe, primarily because I use a different bin. So shout out to my friend, Jen. She did a dip dye of a different pair of New Balance and she used a plastic bin. And for some reason I always use this metal pot and these were too big to fit in there. So I was just cramming them in and then they get like put up against the wall like this. And then the part that's touching the wall doesn't absorb the dye obviously or the coffee in this case. So I used the bin. I have a thousand of them anyway from Costco. I don't know why I didn't think of it. Flipped them over and just let them sit like that inside. Put a glass bowl over top of it just to hold them down. And, uh, and then was super even across the toe and everything, which I think was really good. Now I only let these sit in the water for maybe not even an hour. Like I really didn't want to have like a crazy, crazy dye to them, but they were white and now they definitely have a vintage sort of feel, especially the midsole. I really like the way that that came out. But also if you look around the cut of the leather, that is another area where it really shines. Like it's definitely like a really dark color now 
on all of the cuts. So it kind of gives it a nice little vibe to it because it is much, much darker. Also around the collar of the tongue, it came out a little bit darker around there as well. Uh, so I did hit this with a finishing spray. So what you see on the top is the way that these are gonna stay. And I like that. I like the fact that I was able to just finish it off and call it good. One thing I wanted to point out is that on the back, I wiped off all of the gray on one. So it looks a little bit more worn on one logo than the other, which I kind of dig. Again, I was going for that vintage style sort of look. And then lastly, I forgot to throw the laces in this time, because if you guys know the story for this one, I threw the laces in and it bricked my garbage disposal because I didn't, you know, remove them before I emptied the water and then threw on the garbage disposal. It took me hours to fix my garbage disposal. So this time I was like, nah, I'll wait, you know, I'll hold off and wait. Then I forgot to put them in. And then of course, uh, now they're more whitish. So maybe, uh, you know, I kind of like them this way. I, I could make them a little darker, but honestly, I'm not mad at this experiment at all for like, I think I got these for 110. Uh, shipped like this is a, a pretty nice turnout in my opinion for uh, a 550 Now I know I saw Kais do a pair of these as well. I think he did an orange pair uh, I think I saw it on Instagram, but his turned out really dope as well It was nice to see I have the orange pair also But I definitely wanted to see on just like an all-white like kind of grayish pair kind of gives it that ALD sort of vibe But not the premium materials on these ones Unfortunately the premium materials on the ALDs are definitely superior and I wish I had those to compare I actually bought them off of eBay and then waited for a month and they never shipped so I checked in on it and then like they canceled it and just sent me my money back I was like this sucks so I didn't end up getting them, unfortunately. Maybe I'll try to put in another bid to get another pair of them. Uh, but uh, but end results, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Is this something you think looks okay or not? My wife thought it looked terrible. She's like, why would you make a shoe look old or dirty? But I dig it. I think it looks kind of cool. And the coloring I actually like on it as well came out nice and light. If you guys want to see me coffee dye the Supreme Air Force Ones, drop a like on this video. If I get enough likes on this video, I'll do it. Uh, I got a pair of them the other week if you guys didn't see. So I have the white uh, Supreme Air Force Ones. I just... Not sure if I'm going to customize them yet, but, uh, but that's what we got. Hopefully you guys enjoyed subscribe. If you guys are new to my channel and again, hit that like button if you guys like the video and hopefully we'll see you back here for some more videos. All right. Peace.